Hello and welcome to this session. I will very quickly show you how you can use recording to create your test plan in Jmeter. Now I have covered the recording sessions earlier as well using Blazemeter, using Bad Boy and then using uh, Jmeter's HTTPS test script recorder. So today I'm just going to tell you the easiest and fastest way to record your test cases and test plan in Jmeter. So one of the ways you can go to this uh, templates so in jmeter latest jmeter you will have this option for templates you can also get this option from a uh, file and templates from here and then you have this direct option so if you go to templates you will find two options here recording and recording with think time so you can select anyone i am using recording here and click on create so this will create an uh, a test plan a template test plan for recording and you will have this HTTPS test script recorder already added and you will have this thread group already added. So now what we have to do is you can give any port number here. So by default it will be 8888. I will leave it as it is. And here you have the options uh, of target controller grouping. So leave as it is because this is already set up. And if you go to this request filtering this tab, you can actually filter uh, the request to for URL patterns to exclude and if you want to include something you can add it here so for now I'm going to keep everything by default and now next thing that you have to do is uh, we have to set up our browser to listen on this particular port so whatever port number you set up here we have to set the proxy on our browser so I will go to Firefox and I will go to uh, preferences and here if you go down you will find this network proxy now in case you are using some different version of Firefox uh, there may be some difference in the navigation so you can check where you have to go uh, you will go to network proxy and settings and here I will select this manual proxy configuration I will select this and I will say localhost because I am doing this on my local system and here I will give the port number that I have set on Jmeter and he then select this option use this proxy server for all protocols I will select this and say OK and now I can go back to my Jmeter so if I go back to my Jmeter now now I can click on start here so I will click start and I will get this message so this is this has created a certificate in the bin directory that you have to add to your browser so if you go to your uh, folder uh, the jmeter bin folder so I am inside my jmeter bin folder and you will find this certificate getting created here and this we have to add to our browser so on your browser for example I am on Firefox you can again go to your preferences and if you go to privacy and security you will find a option for certificates here is the option so if you go to view certificates you can go to this import so we have to import it and you can import this certificate from the bin directory of Jmeter so in my case I have already added it so it says this certificate is already there so I will just close this and now I can start my recording on my browser and or whatever I will record we will have the samplers getting added here so I will just go to any website let me go to uh, lifecharger.org here so this is a blog I write I'm going here and let us see if we get the samplers here so yes we are getting some samplers recorded here you can see I go to some particular page here and you can see this is getting recorded here right the best way to do it this got recorded uh, let me click on this what is discipline and let me see if this comes here yes this came here and everything is done so I can now stop it so I will go to my HTTPS test script recorder and stop and now I have my all the recorded steps now of course you will see a lot of uh, different uh, samplers or requests that we do not need so you can what you can do is if you do not know that what is required and what is not you can try disabling them so I will for example all the PHP I will try to disable them and you can actually run this because we already have a view results tree added you can try to run them and you can see if you are getting a proper result for all your recorded steps okay 
so you can check this so this was one of the ways and of course when you go to HTTPS test script recorder and you go to request filtering tab you can already set the URL patterns to exclude and URL patterns to include so that you do not get any extra requests getting recorded so this was one way other way is if you go to your Chrome browser uh, let me open a fresh Chrome browser here let me go here yeah and if you go to your uh, Chrome plugins I will go to web store and here you can search for blaze meter plugin okay so you search for blaze meter and you will get this place meter plugin so you can add this I have already added it and you will have it here on your Chrome so if I go here and you also have to create an account on blaze meter and then you can log in so only after you log in you will be able to record and save your recording so you can just uh, say any give any name to your test so this is test 101 and you can hit this record button and then you can start your recording so I will go to this website and then what all your steps you can record it from here uh, let me go to some more pages and you will see all the recording getting added here on blaze meter so it's waiting for the content and you can see now it is showing us all the recorded things and let me go to here and again it is it will show the blaze meter window here waiting for the content and then it will add the recorded steps so now it has added it right now you can stop this recording by clicking this stop recording button and now if you go to your again to your blaze meter so here you will find this option edit your script and you can click on here and this will take you to this window where you will get your recorded steps here and then you also you can do some editing here as well so you can do all these things here and then finally you can click on this torus.json or .jmx so I need .jmx to export to jmeter I will click here and this has this will start exporting and you can see it is downloading the jmx file so now once this is downloaded you can go to your jmeter and let me open a new test plan and in fact I will just have to open the recorded sampler or the recorded jmx file so I will go to my downloads and if I go to my downloads you can see this test 101 jmx is there I'll just open it and if you you can see it has already added all these uh, components HTTP header manager user defined variable so it has already taken care of all this components uh, request defaults authorization manager cookie and cache manager and if you go inside the thread group there is this controller and inside that you have your recorded steps so you can just add a result listener so I can add a view results tree and uh, you can add your users here and then you can start and check that you are getting proper results and of course you can do all the changes and editing once you have this recorded steps in jmeter so that was uh, two quick ways to get started and of course just by recording you might not be able to create your entire test plan recording is a helping hand which can get you started very quickly and then you can make the changes as per your requirements and then have a complete test plan in jmeter i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching